be like most like the mark of a good player who knows how far their character can go off stage with both the jumps. He's obviously labbed it in the timing and goes, "Okay, time to pull it back." You know what I mean? Yeah. And he flexed that uh, that knowledge there with Chibo, pretty much just taking full advantage of him off stage. That's oh just yeah, a, Rob, a Rob well is so vulnerable off stage. So right. It's only so much you can do unless he gets right. like a lucky there, but you know that's not gonna happen when you're on the side. Right. But to the match, we got LOF Blue versus Verlon Luck. BC Luck. Throwing another one of his uh, random box characters into the mix here. He's actually going all all Olimar, I'm guessing, this day. Oh, no. I saw him go Luigi, but you know. Uh, no. He'll never go Mega Man. Yeah, he'll never go Mega Man. It's not like he's a good Mega Man or anything, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, all right. So, to, to the match. No more bias. We got to be. Got to be useful. But interesting uh, uh, interesting um, setup, though, for this matchup. I am seeing that Olimar is the one with 6%, and Charizard actually, uh, the, I mean, Charizard with the low percent here in this matchup, and Olimar, surprisingly, with all the damage. Wow, uh, yeah, that, uh, that'll be almost a kill. Yeah, that'll be kill, almost killed. Killed Olimar. That, that, that move has so much knockback, like, you actually don't even need to hit anyone with the whole move just to, like, launch a it's, it's just like, like, what I... Things are probably way before. It's like a lot of upbees in this game have like that janky like like startup where they just get launched and just right. like at four percent. Right. But uh, as we can see here, he just brought it back. You know, seven percent. Yeah, it's Alamar. Uh, literally, as soon as a Pikmin touches you, you're pretty much in to gain like a ton of damage just unawares. Like if you're you're not paying attention, because as soon as they attack onto you, you don't realize not only how much shield pressure it does. But how much more conscious you become of your your damage, and it's that's another mental thing that's just part of the human element that you just got to apply in this matchup. Yeah. And I was thinking, I wonder if uh, Luck would opt to use more red Pikmin, and uh, only because Charizard's fire, so yeah. it would take you know some hitboxes away or Oof. Some hit, I don't know. Oof. But that almost Max Rage back is just destroying all of my. As soon as I saw that double jump, I was like. Blue's yeah. setting up for the back air. He can't do anything except land, and I mean, unless he upbeat before then, he'd have been vulnerable. But yeah, that, uh, practically, it's a tipper. Yeah. You know. And uh, Luck sporting the Vash sucks tag this week. I don't know what's up with that, but uh, I guess he uh, he wants Vash to know that he sucks. Clearly, it's not Vash. Huh? Cl wow. Clearly, yeah. It's ah, not yeah. Clearly, it's not Vash. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, no, 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 but LOF Blue, I mean, you can see Blue, he's using his little Charizard work. I think, I'm curious if he's going to switch to Luigi or not, or like Mark or something. Well, I mean, you've, you've seen Luck, and he, he's pretty much a top three finisher in Philadelphia, so I, I've known him to use a lot of characters. The only one character that he actually sucks with is Mega Man. Besides that, he's pretty much good with every character he uses. I mean, he's got a little Marth. His Marth's all right. His Falcon's all right. Oh, He's trying to show yeah. off some Olimar work this week. Looks like Blue's opting to switch to Jigglypuff. I know he does play like pretty much all the Pokemon. Uh, I know basically anyone that him. can like be Blue. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. He's a, yeah, anybody who has like a literal Blue skin, he'll play. But <gasps> or naturally right, so Blue. Wow, Puff Mart almost mainly, but you know who plays that matchup in Melee? No Nobody. One, anyway, game two, FD Luck counterpick. Hmm. And this is going to be a s interesting switch. Like before the for the counter pick, I wonder what got banned, you know? Because for a matchup like this, and for him to go Jigglypuff, um, you know, with, with with the way that stage picks work, you know, you have uh, your stage, you got Shay Strike, got your uh, your winning character, winning winning uh, winning player, pretty much choosing whether or not they're going to swap. And then you have the other player choosing whether or not they're going to swap so that they have advantage after they lost. Ooh, Blue going to work. And Jigglypuff having one of the best uh, air speeds. So, like, Jigglypuff is so good offstage because um, um, Shigeriki. I mean, like, Nair. I mean, I'm not saying, like, oh, air, the best. aerial attack. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah. Yeah, that, I can't argue with that. Yeah, I'm not saying Jigglypuff's like, amazing, but, like, Puff Snare also, like, lasts forever so he can. Pull that out. You definitely right. just roll out. Roll, roll out a lot. Roll out. Nah, but um, I think that for the for the rollout here, it's just not safe. To be fair, if he's if he's really close to him, he should wow. be able to kind of just counter out of that. That dash attack is uh, really strong. I know it. Uh, God, I always hear this that Puff 
that like, has the trample effect. I really don't know what that means. Trample effect? Yeah. That hurt his what? Has a trample effect. Which one? Which move? Dash attack. Oh, 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 the fact that it, it pretty much will continue to uh, knock you for hard knockdowns. I guess that's what it means. Yeah, I think that uh, tra moves that have trample pretty much can continuously force a hard knockdown. So it will pop you back up, and it won't actually do enough damage. So, um, And because it is like a dash, you can dash again and follow up. So if you but, get someone uh, who doesn't like to tech... Yeah, oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this matchup... I mean, I'm gonna take it from like melee. Like, you just have to space out love. You, know? right. you get the plate. I'm gonna take it perfectly, but you really have to space, space everything out. I mean, luckily, this game buff can't crouch or grab that much. Blue really just switching for <laughs> Yeah. Oh, wow. Blue, gotta be careful there on the edge of a rollout. If he actually rolls out and. Oh, this is a, a block. Uh, he could have actually just blocked the first one and countered the second one since he's so close to the, the edge of the stage. That's pretty much a free counter. Alright, well, Blue definitely just use all out four times in a row. Yeah, yeah. And looking, uh, I don't know. I mean, I never see much of motion from oh, my bad luck, but uh, it was kind of funny to see that happen. Yeah, I gotta say, I wasn't really expecting a serious pick for Jigglypuff here, and I don't know how seriously either of them are taking this matchup. I really expected this to be a lot more one-sided, but well, that wow. Air? wow. That back air actually traded. And all right. Well, that did it. I'm surprised. I literally was just like, okay, well, I guess he's going to give Luck a free win here with Jigs, and... Yeah, no. Yeah, move a bit to the right. Yeah, my bad.